Hey, how's it going and welcome to another video. All right, so a couple of weeks ago, I put up a video talking about Persona's Lost Manga, that of course being Persona Cross Detective Naoto. And I guess I'm just becoming the Persona like lost and untranslated media guy. Since I received an email from somebody and I thought it was super, super cool, so I thought I'd make a video about it. This is from SMT Gen and it reads, Hello, Fither. I heard you were on the hunt for the lost Persona Cross Detective Naoto manga. Good luck in your search. I realize this may be a good time to send you scans of the untranslated Persona 3 novels from 2006. I couldn't find the text of these novels anywhere online, so I imported and scanned them earlier this year. But then I remembered that I do not know Japanese. A uh, classic problem. So I wanted to pass these scans along as a signal boost to see if you might know anyone interested or willing to translate them. I would love to read them since they are quasi-canonical and cover very interesting things like Akihiko, Shinjiro, and Mitsuru's relationship pre-Persona 3, Strega as actual characters with depth, and wacky hijinks between the Persona 3 and Persona 4 Velvet siblings. Hopefully, if more people know that these scans exist, they might catch someone's eye. And in the email, he included full scans of all three of these novels. So link in the description, I have a Google Drive if you want to check them out. Obviously, they're not in English, but still really cool nonetheless. So yeah, big thank you to SMT Gen for scanning these and sending them my way. So part of why I think these novels are so cool and why I would really, really like to read them is it seems like they all cover characters and like subject matter that I would really want to know more about. Persona 3 is my favorite game, so any opportunity to learn about like weird, obscure information about these characters or the plot of that game is really appreciated. So I'll take a sec to talk about each one of them individually. Obviously, since they're not in English, we don't really have a whole lot of info about them, but... I'll just be a lazy bum and read the Megami Tensei wiki articles on these. Starting with Owari no Kakura. Owari no Kakura is an original story taking place one month prior to the beginning of the original game. It is told mainly from Akihiko Sonata's perspective, beginning with him seeing a mysterious humanoid-shaped shadow while exploring Tartarus together with Mitsuru Kurijo. The following day, the story introduces Aya Tokido, an upperclassman to the two of them and an original character created for the novel. She is a graduating senior who worked as a manager for the boxing club and harbors a romantic interest in Akihiko, which is unrequited due to his generally oblivious nature. Well, I'm glad to see Akihiko is on the grind set even back then. Due to a chance meeting, Akihiko discovers that she can experience the dark hour as well. Though until they can discover if she can use a persona, she stays at the dormitory with the others. The novel expands upon Shinji's relationship with Mitsuru and Akihiko, as well as touches on Yukari Takiba's entrance to the dorm and Mitsuru's execution techniques. Yo, this suddenly became like a high priority translation project. <laughs> Bro, what wonders could be hidden in this novel? There might be a whole chapter about that. During the climactic battle, Shinjiro and Akihiko are shown to be able to use fusion spells together. Badass. So yeah, this one seems really cool. Like, obviously I'm a little bit biased because Akihiko is my favorite Persona character, so a novel kind of written from his perspective sounds so cool. And I think it'd also be interesting to read because when it comes to Persona 3, like, we learn throughout the course of the game a lot about stuff that happens in the pretty distant past, right? But we don't really know a whole lot about stuff that happens pretty immediately before the game begins. So yeah, that would just be really cool to read about, like, Akihiko and Mitsuru and Shinji's relationship. Alright, so next up we have Persona 3 Shadow Cry. And this one I would really, really love to read because it features Strega. Strega is a group of characters that, like, I think it's a pretty common sort of criticism of P3 to see that Strega is a sort of weak group of villains overall, and I think this novel could, like, if it were translated, theoretically do a lot of good for, like, people's perceptions of those characters. But yeah, it says, Shadow Cry is a side story to the main plot of Persona 3, taking place during and making reference to the events of the main game. It is told primarily through Jin Shirado's point of view, and it details the daily life of the members of Strega. Yeah, dude, like, a book written from Jin's perspective sounds so interesting because... Jin is definitely the weakest part of that group, like Takai is obviously the leader. And then Chidori has her whole relationship with Junpei, but yeah, Jin has always kind of just been like the odd man out of the group. So that would be really cool to be able to read this and like see something from his perspective and kind of get more fleshing out of like their group dynamic. The events of the story begin with Jin, Takaya, and Chidori. After completing a revenge commission, encounter a gathering of cowardly Maya surrounding a young man. 
This young man is Izumi, an original character created for the novel who, like Jin, is an artificial persona user. Izumi had been presumed dead by the Kurijo group after he had gone missing during an exploration of Tartarus. Due to his low aptitude, his persona appears as a formless mass he calls Nameless. Oh, that's brutal. Izumi reveals that after escaping Tartarus, he was saved by a young nurse who he lived with for a period of time. Unknowingly, he had contacted Strega to seek revenge for her death, though he cannot pinpoint the culprit, only knowing that it was a murder that was labeled officially as an accident. While Jin had initially turned down the request due to its feasibility, Takaya lets Izumi know that Strega will take on this request. And this one is pretty unique because it actually does have its first chapter translated by a fan. As in, all the way back in like 2008, it's on an old live journal blog. Yeah, remember live journal? So I'll include a link to that in the description if you want to read the first chapter of it to kind of see what it's like. But yeah, like, gun to my head, if I had to pick only one of these to get translated, I'd probably go with this one. Since I think Strega are definitely characters that like... They desperately need something. And who knows, maybe these guys are like actually the deepest, like most heartwarming, touching characters from the Persona series. And we just have no idea because this book was never translated. All right, so for our final one here, this is actually a Persona 3 portable novel. And this seems like the one that we have the least amount of info on, but it also gets my pick for a novel that seems like it would be the most fun to read. And it is of course, Persona 3 Portable Velvet Blue. Taking place during Persona 3 Portable, it features Elizabeth as its protagonist and explores Persona 3's female protagonist's relationship with the inhabitants of the Velvet Room, including Margaret and Theodore. And that's about all she wrote, but yeah, this just seems like a great time, right? Like, first of all, Elizabeth is the protagonist. Yo, where's all of my Elizabeth enjoyers at? Assemble. But this just sounds like so much fun, right? Like a book dedicated to the Velvet siblings just sounds awesome. Plus it's the only one that's Persona 3 portable specific. So for FemC Nation, like finally some good fucking food, right? So these all sound super interesting, right? And now I think I'm kind of faced with a dilemma of what we should actually do with these. I think getting a translation project going would be fucking awesome, but... I think there's a couple of issues with the idea. First of all, I am completely and utterly useless when it comes to this. Like, I don't speak or read Japanese. And as much as I would like to go, okay, translation project right now, this would be a much bigger endeavor than people probably think it would be. Because, like, these are novels. It's not like we're sitting here trying to translate a couple chapters of a manga or whatever. These are multi-hundred page books. And I don't know how much I like the idea of starting a project that, like, I'm not even entirely sure will ever be finished, because I've seen this sort of thing happen a lot, right, where there's these, you know, fan projects and people are like, oh man, we're gonna translate this thing, or we're gonna remake this game, or whatever it happens to be, and then people realize that there's, like, actual work involved, and then it kind of just fizzles out, so... So I would hate to see that happen, where it's like, all right, we got one chapter translated, and then nothing ever happens with it ever again, but... I don't know, what I think I'll do is I'll leave this as, like, a theoretical maybe kind of project. If there's anybody who's genuinely seriously interested in taking a crack at translating some of these, feel free to shoot me an email, fitherfith at outlook.com. And maybe if I get enough people who are legitimately interested in helping out, then maybe we can get something going. But because like I said, I don't want to preemptively be like, all right, translation project now. But I don't know, maybe we can get like a Persona 3 portable velvet blue translation cabal going, I don't know. But yeah, link in the description if you want to download these novels. Thank you all so much for watching, and especially a big thank you to my channel members. It's kind of crazy to think how much like Japanese media is just never translated, right? Just think about how many weird random like novels and drama CDs and manga are just made totally inaccessible to us. Megami Tensei especially has a lot of that shit. But that's why I think it'd be pretty cool to have just one more thing that's like actually readable by English speakers. I wish all the coolest media ever wasn't like barred by the most complicated language on earth, but alas, that's how it be. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.